five here. So do you want to get started on possum trapping? If you do, I suggest you stick around. Right, let's do a set. Um, set I'm going to show you is the most standard set in New Zealand. I don't really know if there's a natural name for it, so for this video I'm just going to call it an open set. So for an open set, you want to dig a nice hole to bed your trap. To bed. And there is some fresh sign here, oh look. Like that is super fresh, it's still wet. And there's some more over there, but... Put your hand out from the tree like this, and that's where they put their chain, their trap. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I've just got my trap here. Here we go here. And you want to get that as firm into the ground as you possibly can. Then you're going to put your chain there. And you want your chain as short as possible. Where's my hammer? There's two reasons for this. One is that if they get enough momentum up, they can run and pop their leg out of the trap. And the other is when they're when you're when you're trying to hit them with your hammer to put them down. They, but if they have enough chain, they can run and make a hassle hitting them. Now I want to put the chain about that far in. And then for my lure, the most standard practice is just to do that. And that's what I did for a long time. But what I've also found is if you put some here, here, and here, it gets them running. And I would just put, as I'm walking along from each trap, I'll just put random drops of lure, and that gets him running. And then you just want to get some stuff to hide your chain. I imagine I'll catch something here because there's quite a lot of sign. When setting your traps, I like to do them 20, about 20 metres apart. But you can do them however far apart you want to do them. I've set traps within 5 metres of each other and they've both caught. For lure, my two favourite recipes are flour and cinnamon. And just experiment with how much you want. And then, oh, here's some fresh sign, which I'll just show you. This is super fresh. There is a lot of sign here. Now, two lure methods I like are flour and cinnamon and flour and eucalyptus. Now you don't want much eucalyptus. So yeah, um, for traps, they like PCR traps and you get them online. Now I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I don't even have any PCR traps. That's just my mate has it and I've tested it. And that's what I like. So that's, well, there's a lot of, sh of sign here, so I'll see the trap. Don't always buy your traps new. <coughs> have a look around if you're in, if you're in a town. Go yeah, have a look around the local pawn shops. Not not pawn pawn. Oh, you, you, you know what I mean anyway. And secondhand shops and stuff. I found they have a whole box of traps, and I just bought four, and they were only seven dollars. And these are really good quality traps. And see this trap. See how it has a V inscribed on the van, on the pan? Oh, that, this fits the pan. Also known as push plate. And this is the dog. And anyway, that will outperform any cheap new trap. And look at it. And it only costs $7. Now these, these traps look like Bushmasters, although I don't think they are. Um, but they're still really good traps. Like these springs on these are actually better than these. I if you if you're wanting um if you buy secondhand traps like these, you want to check for springs on them. And springs to buy are really cheap. Um, they're just I think they're four bucks or a pair or something. And, and um right now something I forgot to cover. Oh god. Something I forgot to cover is um, getting a dock permit 
and Doc may try to fob you off. I got a good guy to do my permit. Now you need to um decide what area you're going to. Because if you get a dock permit, that doesn't mean you can go on any dock land and trap you since you have a permit. You have to get a permit for certain areas. Like I got my permit for Ball and Ball and Lodge, the Kiwi Burn and Purnawea. Because that's where I go a lot. Anyway, um, so don't try to fob you off. If you ever look on the dock website, don't be some other Victor website and dock website, don't go on them. There's apparently, according to them, there's nowhere in mainland Southland where you can go pop and tackle. Because there's only certain areas dock, is, dock lets the people go on, but the, um, Dock employees let you go on any land if, as long as some, um, or they, some do. But it's just, just go talk to a guy at Dock. Don't do it online or anything. Just do it. It may, it may be a pain. Um, honestly, though, just go get Dock and go try and find private land. And the way you do this is even if you just know one farmer, and you like, even if you just know no, one farmer and they don't have land that you can trap on, sure, surely to God they will know someone who has land you can trap on, will know someone who knows someone. I'm lucky because my dad's grown up with all the farmers around this neighbourhood and my uncle, and I have all my aunts and uncles except for one uncle are farmers. So, yeah, I'm lucky when it comes to that respect. So, they know people. At the moment, I'm trapping on my aunt's land. Uh, my, in a couple, in two weeks, I'll be going back to my uncle's mate's land. Are they mates? I don't know, they just know each other. And, yeah, so try and find private land. Dress up nicely, clean up your car, because most likely they'll be judging the book by its cover.